my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. If that sounds like your thing, please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day to day. Let's go ahead and get into it. I feel like that was the fastest I've ever done my intro. Wow, well, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> that was like speedy. For this weekend vlog, I thought that we would show you guys kind of our cooking dinner thing. What? For today's vlog, I thought we would show you guys what we are making for dinner because Charlie is an absolutely wonderful cook and I suck. So I will be preparing some stuff to help him in this cooking journey. But yeah, I am not skilled in cooking at all. So we are going to be making rosemary butternut squash gnocchi from scratch, right? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna do it from scratch and I'm really excited because I love gnocchi. I mean, I just love food, guys, okay? He's chopping up some veggies and I thought I would kind of show you guys what we're doing, but we are just like prepping. Sorry, our kitchen is a little messy right now. It's, uh, you know, the norm in this household. Anyway, <laughs> we have a oven pan with some rosemary here, I believe. That's what rosemary looks like. <laughs> and we are chopping up some veggies right now. Yeah. Uh, there's some pickles. That is the smallest amount of pickles I've ever seen in my life. We ran out of pickles. <laughs> it's okay. We have plenty of other veggies that we can fry up in that dough, so it'll be fine. Wow, guys, look at all the work that I did. Whoa. I didn't. <laughs> You're so talented. I know. We're going to... Can you take this peeler and just mm -hmm. peel it, finish peeling up to like this portion? Mm -hmm. Um, and we're just going to use the front part of the butternut squash. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it into squares. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bake it for like 20 minutes. I'm so awkward. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Now that we have this. So are those like peppers? Yep. These are just like whole peppercorns. Oh, okay. And I like to just like ground them up. Oh, it smells good. It smells a lot fresher. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we'll do that. I don't know what going to. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. He's hungry too. Wow, look at this giant mushroom. Okay. So do we just oven bake it? Yep, we're just gonna oven roast this for maybe like 20, 20 minutes or so. Okay. And then around that time we should be done with everything else. Mm-hmm. Gnocchi time. Gnocchi time. Gnocchi time. <laughs> I don't know what that So I'm just like cubing, making these into smaller cuts. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna actually be just boiling these in some veggie stock. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just simmer it oh, okay. in veggie stock. Oh, right, right. Uh, Sorry. So that's just veggie broth with butternut squash. Just made some potatoes in the Instant Pot mm -hmm. just to speed up the process. Mm -hmm. um, so is it completely cooked? Yeah. Oh. It is pretty much boiled potatoes. Okay. Crock pot. <laughs> so we're gonna just mash these potatoes. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't? Because it's smelling olives. No, that's weird. I like olive oil, like the taste. Mm. How much do I put? Um, 
put like three or four seconds worth. One, two, three. Okay. So, Moisturizer. Oh, <laughs> um, can I get, uh, can you give me some salt and some pepper, please? How much salt do you want? A teaspoon? Actually, no, a tablespoon. No, two teaspoons. Can you tell me one? Okay. Oh, this smells yummy. And garlic powder. Oh, I love garlic powder. Garlic powder honestly makes everything taste so much better. <laughs> in my humble opinion. Guys, I really want to get a air fryer, but those are kind of expensive. <laughs> We're just on you know wedding budget mode right now but i would love love to have one to make things you know easier to fry <laughs> all right next one is actually me <laughs> this is also one of the good things about having a granite countertop you can make shit on it yeah <laughs> you can put hot pans on it too I'm pretty much just made mashed potatoes. <laughs> I know. We have flowers. Flowers. This is so cute. I love this. This oh is God. from Urban Outfitters. For sure, we're just gonna take some flour, put it on the ground, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to take some of this and mix it with one cup of flour. So if you want to just drop one cup of flour right down here. Oh, on here? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Sure. Well, here, I'll, I'll do it because. Otherwise, your hands will get like dirty and stuff. Unless you want to get down and dirty. I'll get down and dirty with my right hand. <laughs> do you want to do? Oh! Do I use your right hand? No, I use my left hand. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> so, so we're basically just making this all into like a dough. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's. It's really weird. Oh wow. Wait, what is this for? Huh? Gnocchi. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. This is how you make gnocchi? Yeah. Usually you're supposed to put like uh, like an egg, egg? in here oh, yeah. um, to kind of bind it. Mm -hmm. uh, we can put like flaxseed, like that mixture, mm -hmm. um, in order to kind of mimic egg, mm -hmm. just because it's used in like baking and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is fun. Yeah. Um, so we can do that or we can just like go ahead and um, just like put some more olive oil in here to like bind it together. I think it's binding though already. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is the first time making gnocchi, so I'm not <laughs> sure how this It is might gonna... be wrong. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but Looks like a taquito. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could go for taquitos. <laughs> so we're just cutting it like an inch long? Yep. And this is pretty much our gnocchi pasta. Wow. <laughs> you know how gnocchi has like a little... Like ridges? Yeah. Is it working? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. I think these gnocchis are too thick, babe. They might be. I think they're too big. Oh man. I was like, this is a giant gnocchi. Like one, one piece of gnocchi. <laughs> gnocchi? 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 Gnocchi. That's the sauce. For the uh, gnocchi, right? Yeah. So that's basically just like butternut squash that has been like simmering in uh, like veggie broth. Mm -hmm. And I just blended it up. To oh, make okay. it a little bit more thicker, and now I'm just reducing the sauce. Okay. Uh, but oh, it, it is smells good. Super liquidy, but that's okay. Our gnocchi soldiers right here. <laughs> they honestly don't look like gnocchi at all, but it's fine. What's the onion for? Onions for the uh, the sauce. Oh, okay. Or like the kind of the accompaniment. Okay. So we're gonna drop these babies in. Just boiling. Water? Yeah. Okay. Boiling water and just, it's gonna cook like pasta now. Nice. 
And then no. you just combine with the sauce. Yep. Oh, it smells so good. Nice. I don't know if that's the sauce or the gnocchi, but it smells good. So we just put the gnocchi into a bed of onions, mushroom, and what else? Rosemary? And rosemary and garlic. Garlic. Mm -hmm. So we're cooking it a little bit more. Oh, it looks so good. Now the sauce. Ooh, yeah. So good. He, you're such a good multitasker when it comes to cooking. Uh, that's the only thing. <laughs> when it's when it comes to cooking. That's the only thing that I can probably both multitask. Oh no, is it sticking? It's okay. No. Oh. It is. It is sticking a little bit at the bottom, mm. but it's okay. so crazy how this is vegan. Right? Yeah, because it no. still looks really creamy. Yeah. And that was because of, of the oat milk, mm -hmm. which comes in handy for sure. The oat milk was in the sauce, right? Yeah, okay. just a little bit. And then are we putting the squash in there? Yeah, okay. so this is just gonna, oh, sorry. It's okay. So, this is just gonna go like this. Mm -hmm. Together. Sorry if I'm in your way. No, you're good. And that's pretty much done. Wow. Ooh. Some finishing salt. So it is finished, guys. Oh shit, Whoa. I almost. This is what it looks like. Oh, it looks so good. Yes. Yay. Moment of truth. Right? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm, that's good. Hmm, not bad. Well, this is our, this is both of our first time making gnocchi, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's good. Mm -hmm. What would you change about it? Um, by the way, that made gnocchi. Mm. It's a little bit, uh... It's not as, um, chewy. Mm -hmm. It's more like... Yeah, mm -hmm. I probably should have cooked the sauce first and then mm. put the gnocchi in. Mm -hmm. Um, which probably would have been better, so mm. that the gnocchi wasn't overcooked, but other than that, maybe just have like a lighter sauce to like balance out with the colors. Mm. Yeah. But, mm. good. I'm pretty happy with how mm -hmm. it turned out. Mm -hmm. Anything like it's a little sweet. It's mm -hmm. like to this. It's like a sweeter side. It's on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. I think I would prefer something a little bit more like savory. savory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's still really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, butternut squash is like a little bit on like the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. Um, I did use like red onions mm -hmm. because mainly for the color. But red onions are tend to be a little bit more sweeter uh, than yellow onions. Mm -hmm. Um, so that all kind of like plays mm -hmm. out. Probably could have put some more salt on it, so. Mm. But. Regardless. It's good. And it's vegan.